This video is sponsored by Wingwing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Holtas, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're cracking on with our series of videos hitting various weapons against a modern US carrier group. The modern US carrier group being the epitome, the most powerful movable force on the planet. So this as ever is our list of suggestions from you, the valued viewers. You're welcome to come and look at this whenever you want. Today we're going to try 27 because we've just got it working in DCS, the YJ-12 Chinese ASM. Now I wasn't worried about this until I found it on Wikipedia. Now I am very worried about it. I only just found out it existed. YJ-12 is an air-launched missile. It resembles a lengthened KH-31 and is close shaped to the GCM-163 Coyote aerial target. In 2011, an article from the US Navy War College Review credited the YJ-91-12 with a range of 400 kilometers around 200 nautical miles and a 205 kilo high explosive warhead compared to the 130 kilometers about 70 nautical miles of the American equivalent the Harpoon anti-ship missile. Furthermore an aircraft could launch the YJ-12 while still 230 kilometers beyond the range of the SM-2 and Sparrow anti-air missiles which the US carry group would fire back at those aircraft which have ranges of less than 170 kilometers. According to Chinese sources the YJ-12 has a speed of around Mach 2 if launched from low altitude and up to Mach 3.2 if launched from high altitude with a maximum range of around 380 kilometers depending on launch altitude. Terminal attack altitude is 15 meters which is incredibly low. In a September 2014 article published in Joint Forces Quarterly the missile was credited with a range of 250 kilometers and a speed of Mach 2.5. In Feb 2015, military expert Lili claimed the YJ-12 had a 400 to 500 kilo, half ton warhead and a range of 300 kilometers when traveling at Mach 3. This seems to suggest that no one really knows anything about this, but okay. Uh, Mach 3 or 400 kilometers at a speed of Mach 4. The YJ-12 can also do evasive maneuvers to avoid anti-missile threats like SeaWiz and SM-2 to SM-6. A saturation attack by YJ-12s fired at long range would pose a grave threat to American carrier strike groups once the wave of sea-skimming missiles appeared over the horizon and was detected by ships' own sensors. They would have only some 45 seconds to engage before impact and if there were enough, short-range uh, missiles would be overwhelmed given that the fighters such as the SU-30 MK AK and J11B have a combat radius of 1500 kilometers. Equipping them with the J12 gives them a potential strike range of nearly 2000 kilometers. The US Navy's counter is to use the cooperative engagement capability to detect and destroy the YJ12 launch aircraft with SM6 missiles and fighters at long range before they can be fired. It has been test launched from a Zion H6 bomber and will be fitted to JH7 Bravo. Reportedly, they may also be launched from a J10. SU-30 MKK, J-11 and J-16 will be using J-16 today. For warships, it equips the Type 051 Bravo Destroyer, which we also have, I think, and a planned overhaul of the Sovereign class Destroyer. How interesting. Let's have a quick look at some more. So this is a modern missile in service from 2015 to 2021, which is where we are now. Mass 2.5 tons, length 6.3 meters, 21 feet, rather big for an air-launched missile. Diameter 76 centimeters. Warhead somewhere between 200 and 500 kilos. No one seems to know. Ah, the engine. Here's where the magic happens. An integrated ramjet booster propulsion system. Operational range, depending on your source, 250 to 400 kilometers. Maximum speed, Mach 2 to Mach 4, depending on altitude and who you speak to. Terminal guidance is going to be radar, almost certainly, with probably INS GPS prior to that. And here are our launch platforms. So this is the first time I've heard of this missile, and I'm now extremely worried about it. As far as I can see, NATO's got no way really to stop these things if they really are traveling that fast. So we have them in our simulated DCS. We're using J-16 Deltas, Chinese aircraft. We are equipped with, let's face it, amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven yj 12 Is that realistic? I don't know. It's just what we're allowed to do in a simulator, so it's what we'll get away with. So that's going to give us a total of 14 pretty much simultaneously fired YJ-12s in the air at once, just from two jets. In terms of our carrier group, it's our usual structure. We've got a Nimitz-class nuclear carrier in the middle, currently moving at cruise speed into the Persian Gulf. Supply vessels plus four times Aegis destroyers, flank and forward. On the stern, we've got two times Ticonderoga cruisers. Two air 
F-A-18C Hornets at the moment patrolling, ready to engage, and they will come and shoot us down. We've got an AWACS forward uh, sub and aft sub, plus 30, three zero Hornets and Tomcats, just for fun, that will launch from this uh, carry here and try to stop us. Now, be advised, we haven't actually tried this yet. We've tested that we can launch them, but we didn't want to see how effective they would be against the carry group. So we know at the moment as much as you. But if you've got an unbiased prediction, Simba, what would your prediction be? I'm optimistic that we, you and I will be victorious. Right, we shall see you stand by. We are starting at 600 meters radar altitude, 7070 nautical miles away from the carrier. Why that distance? It's because that's the distance that we set in the rules of these tests that we do to say is that is the closest we think anything could possibly get uh, if they were detectable. And these are not stealth aircraft, they are absolutely detectable. And we didn't want to start 2000 miles away because this would be a four hour mission, it would just be a bit silly for all of us. Otherwise, um, Simba, when I release you, we're just going to go full burn, go relatively low, lock our targets up with our ELINT and, um, and prepare to fire. This is ridiculous. Look at these missiles on our wings. Surely the wings would just fall off. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Happy toot. Power of the SU-30. I mean, J J-16 Delta. Right, let's get everything set up. Sensors set up. Okay, and not see any targets at the moment, so let's keep going until we do. Can you see any targets? I do not. Starting to pop up. Roger. Let's set them, uh, set them fully populate. More targets. Come on, where's that carrier? Where's that carrier? There he is. You got it. You got it. Launch authorized. Did you get it? I need you to say something, Simba. Oh, yep. Now I have them luck. Right, that's ripple in three, two, one, ripple. Go, my big beauties. Wow. Fire those missiles. Some are going up, some are going down. How interesting. Couch Winchester getting the bejeebas out of here. Yep, I got. Locked up by the yeah, the 18s are coming. Right, I'm gonna look on map for you. Okay, what happened? What happened? 14 YJs out. Hornets and SM2s are out. Wow, we got so close there. Uh, we need to run because they are 27 miles. They're coming. These YJs are something. Holy cow! Right, this one's gone up to 11,000 feet, and it is <gasps> two and a half thousand knots. What the heck? This one's Mac. Break. Uh, one, two, three, four. Mac three and a half. And lots of SM2s are coming out. This is going to happen so fast. I've never seen a missile like this before. Look at this one. It's just going absolutely berserk. Is it going to intercept it? What's the RCS on it? Does it have any stealth measures? Does it have any EW? Does it have any ESCM? I don't know. The SM2s can't track it. It's too fast. They can't hit it. It's too fast. 2,600 knots. Although it is going to miss the carry group because it's going so fast. Oh no, we got hit. Oh, uh, 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 so much stuff. They can't shoot it down. They can't shoot it down. It's so fast. 2,000 knots. I'm going to have to pause it here, Sim. I'm going to have to pause it. Uh, okay. Never seen anything like that before. We've got a barrage of missiles going 2,000 to 2,600 knots. There's some of them high, some of them 16 feet off the water. So the high ones did actually get intercepted in the end. So they've got some sort of intelligence to maybe a high one guides them. I don't, I don't know exactly how it works. That is an uninterceptable missile. Nothing can intercept it by a mixture of its speed, its altitude, and it's uh, presumably got some kind of ESM there that I don't know about. It's just flown straight in. And none of them is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Two have gone missing. So two have been went high and got shot down. And these are about to put somewhere between 200 and 500 kilos of high explosive onto the carry each, which is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Wow, I managed to spit that out. It happened so fast, only one plane managed to launch from Mother. That's how ridiculous this is. I'm about to see, I think, the destruction of the carrier. If you are a sailor in the United States Navy, turn away now. Otherwise, the rest of you... Here we go. <clears throat> Look at the speed of them coming in. They might as well be a light beam. Oh, and it's dead. The whole thing's dead. It's broken its back.
they just they were just too fast simple as that they were just too fast and that is a full i'm not messing around here this is a full us carry group this is actually a big one to have six uh ages uh uh escorts with it it's a big you know war war size one they're still taking off look oh no they're not no they're confused let's check this actually is it destroyed it is the whole thing's destroyed whole thing's destroyed they just came in so fast and had such a big warhead now in terms of realism guys don't ask me don't, i'm not here to answer that i don't know you've got to tell me is that realistic could they really fly 2000 knots could they really fly uh that low that's obviously what stopped them getting shot down uh i don't know i'm a bit speechless to be honest i don't know what I'm, i don't know what i'm supposed to say at this point uh, as far as i can see there is no way of stopping those missiles you they could intercept the high ones but I, they had no way, as far as I could see, to intercept the low ones. Anything you want to add, Simba? Nope. I'm still surviving against these 18s. Wow. And uh, to be honest, guys, I don't think you'd even need 14 of them. I think in the game, as it is, I think two of those, as long as they went low, would have just would have destroyed the carrier. I think they've got at least half a ton warhead on them by the way the carrier sunk so fast. I've never seen a carrier sink this fast, by the way, Valley viewers. Bye F-18s. Bye bye guys. They're very stoic in their defeat. Look at that. Never seen a carrier sink that quick before. New weapons are worrying. What they need to do is get their rail guns and their lasers or whatever's coming up next. So, because I don't think you're going to shoot these things down with kinematic weapons. Right. There's nothing else to say. I... Hope that worried you, and we will see you later.